What is up? I am Eric and you are watching Resale Pickups. In this video we head out to the thrift store. It is half price day and we're going to find a ton of good stuff. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. With that being said, let's check it out. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you all the stuff that I found kind of in the store actually hunting and then we're going to come back here and I'm going to talk about the bags that I have here. I bought some incredible stuff and all of it was half price. So if you're out there hunting and you're wanting to find good deals that you can flip, this is the way to do it. Find out when half price days are and you go out there and hunt hard and you will find some good stuff. So with that being said, let's head out to the thrift store and see what I was able to pick up. Okay, so as you guys could see, those were some of the finds that I had on video. Now I've got three full bags of stuff that I wanna to talk to you guys about just a little bit because honestly, I found some good stuff. I think all of this stuff is gonna be well worth buying and flipping and really, if you guys are interested or wanting to do more of this, Go ahead and check out my Instagram. It is the same name, Resale Pickups, and you will see some of the things that I've been picking up on a daily basis and what I sell them for and all that stuff. So I'm going to start with the first bag here, and then we're just going to kind of roll through it. I got a ton of stuff, and um, everything was half price, like I said. So let's just roll right into it. I found this Oakley, uh, it's all washed out. I found this Oakley shirt for $2.99, which meant it was $1.50. That's definitely a great pickup. Uh, what else do we get here? This is a pretty sweet. Um, this was a weird pickup for me, but it was a 
actual a United States post office pickup. It's a 1998 uh, stamp of Wisconsin for $299, uh, marked to obviously $150. But I thought that was weird. It's a vintage shirt uh, from the United States post office. That's totally not something you would expect to find. And then next, I found this nice little crew neck. Um, it is an Olympic crew neck. You can see the USA and the Olympic uh, rings there. Uh, it was $4.99, which meant 5 bucks, so two fifty dollars for this crew neck. I think that's very awesome. That's retro as well. Totally, totally vintage, and it looks very awesome. Next, you guys saw me pick this up on camera. This is a Reebok 2XL. This was $3.99, $2.99, sorry about that. This is a Dallas Cowboys five championship rings. Um, so this is definitely awesome. It's vintage and it looks sick. I think this will sell very well. You guys notice I got a bunch of uh, Dallas stuff and that was just one of them. Here I've got a Walt Disney World shirt for, again, $2.99 marked to $1.50. Um, this is a newer shirt. It is a Hanes Beefy Tee, um, but this looks awesome. It looks in great shape, and I think I should be able to get more than 150 from it. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's see what else we've got here. This was a cool shirt. I found this Life is Good shirt, um, and it has the, um, what is it, AOKAutism.com. I thought this was pretty sweet. Uh, Life is Good is a good brand to flip. So for $1.50 uh, after the half price, I definitely wanted to pick that up. Next, I found this awesome Jimmy Buffett shirt. It has birds all around it on the front and on the back. And on the front, it says Jimmy Buffett, and it says Margaritaville, and that's 2000 which means this is now vintage because it was from 2000 This was $1.50 again. Um, I love picking up killer deals like this. Um, here's another awesome uh, shirt that I picked up that's vintage. It says the national championship from, what year was this? Uh, 2001, um, the Florida State Seminoles versus the Oklahoma Sooners in the Orange Bowl, the FedEx Orange Bowl. This is killer, and I picked it up, and I was like, I had to pick this up. Next, I found this Disney um, Christmas Mickey. Now, I know Christmas is over. But I think this will be a good seller whenever um, the season comes around again. And for $1.50, I don't mind keeping that. Um, I picked up a Super Mario World shirt. It says this is how I power up. $1.50, awesome, awesome pickups. More game pickups. Uh, Legend of Zelda pickup, $1.50. A lot of these shirts were $1.50, if you guys noticed that. Um... This awesome Tommy Bahama for your mama, uh, $2.99, which makes this shirt actually $1.50. That's a very good, awesome, awesome, awesome find. Then I've got this Looney Tunes find. You guys saw this in the video. Is that orange um, shirt with Taz on it that says, do I look scared? $1.50. Oh my goodness, I'm getting some crazy finds. Uh, this is a Grand Canyon shirt. Uh, from Arizona. I believe it is single stitch and it is and it is on an Eagle products made in the USA $1.50. This is killer um, Next I found this awesome weird shirt like it has the US Navy tag on it And it is a yellow Navy ta tag shirt. So I thought that was pretty interesting for $1.50 I thought it was very very cool Next, I picked up this Atari 2600 shirt, and honestly, I might keep this one for myself. I'm not quite sure yet, but $1.50, it is a large, so that's a little big for me, but it's $1.50, and it looks pretty sick. So that was the first bag that we had. Now I've got two more in here, so I'm going to try to go through these as fast as possible while still showing them to you uh, because I don't want this video to be super long, but I do have a bunch of cool stuff to show you guys. Let's see what I found. This I thought was very cool. It is a New York Rangers NHL CCM shirt uh, with Matt Zuccarello on it. Now I know he doesn't play for the 
the Rangers anymore, but I saw that and I thought it was very, very cool. And I thought it would sell because he was such a good player for them. Um, this next shirt is a, B a B Bacardi shirt, uh, like the alcohol. I don't drink, so I don't know wh what it is, if it's vodka or whatever. But it was $1.50, so I mean, you can't go wrong with that. That will definitely sell to some person that enjoys alcohol. Um, next, I found a shirt that I might keep for myself if it fits. It's a medium, and that is a Halo Reach shirt. You guys know I'm um, into games, and this looks awesome. So I picked it up for $1.50. Like, most of these things are $1.50, um, so I wanted you guys to know that. Next, I found something that was killer. You guys saw it. Dallas Cowboys Vintage on a Lee shirt. $1.50. Um, this thing is killer, and I think that'll sell very, very well. And should probably sell pretty fast as well. Next, I picked up this Kyle Petty shirt. Um, NASCAR shirt. It's got Kyle Petty on the front and the back. $1.50. I thought I would risk it to see what this is worth, um, just to see if anybody would want it, because I thought it was interesting. Um, next, I found another Tommy Bahama, but it has Tommy Bahama on the pocket. This looks awesome for $1.50. You guys know I'm not going to pass that up. There were some more shirts that I probably would have passed up that I ended up picking up just because of how cheap they were. Team USA Rio de Janeiro. This was a very cool shirt. Um, and it was also $1.50. You guys know I'm picking it up when it's that cheap and it's that awesome. Uh, what, what else do we have here? Let's check this out. This is just a polo by, by Ralph Lauren. Um, this is a $4.99, but I got it for a $2.50. That's definitely worth picking up. Let's see, it's a medium. So I think I might have another medium. I might try to bundle these things to sell them. But either way, uh, 250 for that is totally well worth it. Again, uh, more football stuff. Uh, Cleveland Browns, $1.50. I thought that was, this was worth it because it was $1.50. Uh, and there's some Browns fans out there, maybe. I don't really know if people even enjoy the Browns, actually. But it was cheap. Then I found this cool little fleece I thought that was interesting. It is a New Orleans Saints. Uh, keep on rolling with the NFL. This was $5.99, which meant this was only $3. That's a great pickup to flip. If you're trying to make money, that's a great way to do it. Next, I found this awesome vintage crew neck. Like, check that frog out. There's actually a frog on the back. I totally might end up keeping this just because it looks cool. $5.99 is the price tag. I paid three dollars for this that is very awesome i hope it's my size it's a medium i might be keeping this but we'll have to see in the future i haven't quite decided yet then i picked up this adidas uh rock chalk jayhawk which is kansas jayhawks basketball team is what they're famously known for 4.99 so 250 that's a good pickup as well for me so i figured i'd pick that up as I'm trying not to lose everything, I have one more Tommy Hilfiger shirt. You got the little flag right there. $5.99 normally, which meant I paid 3 bucks for this. That's a killer steal there. And then, yet again, I don't know what it was up with this. Um, I don't know if it's the Dallas Stars uh, vintage that I'm wearing now, but I found a bunch of Dallas Cowboys stuff. This was $2.99 on a beefy uh, Hanes tag. You guys know, look at this logo. That looks sick. That's totally vintage. That's gonna be pretty awesome. And then finishing up, we've got one more bag to go through. And honestly, we've gone through so much stuff, I don't exactly remember what is left, but I know there's some good stuff. This is a button up Ralph Lauren, um, $7.99, that's eight bucks. I paid four for it. I think that's probably the most I would want to pay for one of these. But eight bucks is a little taxing. It's a little crazy, actually. Um, then I picked up this another gaming-related item, and that is this Halo. Um, I believe this is Halo 3. Yeah, Halo 3 shirt for another $1.50. And it might be my size. It's kind of faded and hard to see. 
this is obviously an old game, um, but yep, it's a medium. So that might fit me. That might be going into the collection. We'll see. Um, you guys know, like I said, Dallas came through hardcore here. Dallas Cowboys, check this out. Another Dallas Cowboys vintage. This had a year on it, 1996, and it is on that M, the Miro. I don't know anything about that, but I did notice that this was a vintage Cowboys shirt for $1.50. You guys know I'm picking that up. And I think one more shirt and then one jacket. Uh, you guys saw me pick this up. A long sleeve Nautica jacket, not jacket, shirt. Um, a $3.99 turns to 2 bucks. That Nautica competition on the arm and the little Nautica logo on the chest piece. Uh, I don't know about the size as a medium. I might keep this. I might not. Uh, we'll see. But honestly, 2 bucks for that is killer as well. And last but not least, I picked up this... Um, Columbia jacket. I it says Conquest. It's just the one that doesn't have a end line in it. It's just the one uh, one liner, I guess. I don't. It's just the jacket. There's no liner. It does have the hood that attaches to it. But this was originally $7.99, so I picked it up for 4 bucks. That's a killer steal. So I'm pretty happy. So you guys saw what I picked up. At the thrift store you guys saw me hit up the thrift store and see all the good you can get from half price deals so if you are looking to get stuff to sell and flip and make money on definitely check out when the half price days are because that will save you a ton of money i want to say all of this was like around 70 bucks which meant they were trying to sell this for 140 dollars but i got it for half off which was 70 total deal there and I'm very happy about it. So if you guys like this video, check out all the links in the description. I've got my Instagram and I've got my Mercari, my Poshmark, and I've got my eBay links. They're all down below for you guys to check out. So check that out if you're interested. Um, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you picked up this week and let me know what good stuff you picked up. So with that being said, one last time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.